In this video, we are going to look at how to prove that the square root of 2 is an irrational number. Remember that an irrational number is a number which cannot be written as a fraction. So in other words, the square root of 2 cannot equal a over b. That's what a uh, square root of 2 represents, that it's not equal to a rational number. In order to prove that the square root of 2 is, is irrational, we're going to use a method called proof by contradiction. And basically what that means is that we are going to make some general claim and we're going to assume that it's true. And then with some math steps, we're basically going to show a contradiction exists as to why our claim must be false. And that's basically what proof by contradiction is. We're using a contradiction to prove something is true, basically. So first step is I am actually going to assume that the square root of 2 is a rational number. It can be written in the form a over b. And I'm going to state here that my a and my b are elements of integer numbers, so they can be whole positive or negative numbers. And I'm also going to state that my fraction is in its simplest form. And that's important to state. Uh, that basically means that my fraction can't be divided by some number to simplify it down further. So let's go a little bit further and investigate this. So we know that the square root of 2, or I'm assuming that the square root of 2, is a fraction, a over b. I'm going to get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. And by squaring both sides, I'm going to leave myself with 2 is equal to uh, a over b squared. And when I square uh, a, I get a squared. And square to b, I get b squared. And that's equal to 2. And just remember that when I square a square root, it cancels it out. So that's why I'm left with the 2. I'm then going to do some cross multiplication here. And I'm going to multiply the 2 by the b squared. So I get 2b squared is equal to 1a squared. So what does that basically mean? Let's bring it up here onto the right hand side. So I have 2b squared is equal to a squared. And remember that 2 times a number must always give me a even number. So if I multiply any number by 2, it must give me an even number. So if I'm multiplying b squared by 2, which gives me an even number, and it's equal to a squared, that must mean that a squared is equal to an even number. And a squared then can be broken down a little bit further. What does a squared basically mean? It means the multiplication of two same numbers. So a multiplied by a. So that's telling me that a by a is even. Now, when can I multiply two numbers by themselves to give me an even number? Those two numbers must be even because if you think about it, let's do a little bit of rough work over here. If I multiply an even number by an even number, like 6 by 6, I get 36, it must give me an even answer. But if I multiply an odd number, let's say 7 by 7, I get 49, which is an odd number. So the only way to get that even number is by multiplying two even numbers by each other. So let's go with that. So we're now saying that this a is an even number. So a is equal to an even number. Let's break it down even further. What does an even number mean? An even number basically means that it's divisible by two. So the number must be divisible by two by the definition of an even number. So that also means that a is equal to two times some other number because I can divide it then by two in order to simplify it further. As we said, every even number is divisible by two. So there's another important fact that we've just stated. A is the same thing as two times some other number. So let's reverse a second. So what do we have from over here? So let's bring this part up uh, and expand it. I have 2b squared is equal to a squared. So that's what we have. Now let's go and break that up. I can substitute in my 2k for a. So I have 2k all to be squared. And when I square that, I get 2 times 2 is 4, and k squared is k squared. Uh, I can simply just divide both sides by 2 there to simplify it down a little bit further. So that's giving me b squared is equal to 2k squared. And we're kind of back to square 1 here again. So what does this mean? This basically means 
that two times some number, again, must be even. And if two times our number is even, that means then that b squared must be even. So therefore, b squared is ev equal to an even number. And it's the same principles once again, I'm bringing you up to this part here. If even by even is even, odd by odd is equal to odd. So b squared is the same as b multiplied by b, which must give me an even number. So let's just move it up here. So I have b times b is equal to even. And the only way to get an even number is to multiply two even numbers by each other. So therefore, b is equal to an even number. So what does that mean? That also means that the number must be divisible by two. So I can maybe assign b a value as two times, let's say, uh, q. So it's divisible by two. We're practically done now. Let's come back to what we assumed. We assumed that the square root of two is equal to a over b in its simplest form. But look what we've done. We've found a to be um, 2k and we found b to be 2q. And I can now see that I can divide top and bottom of my fraction by two. So they're both divisible by two. And there exists my contradiction. Remember at the very start, we said that the square root of two was equal to a over b, where our fraction was in our simplest form. But I've just con contradicted myself. I've now got the square root of two to equal to 2k over 2q, or two times some number. So there's my contradiction. So therefore, uh, the square root of two cannot be written as a fraction, a over b in its simplest form. So therefore, the square root of two must be irrational. And that's what this question wants us to find. Prove that the square root of two is irrational. Now this holds for the square root of three or the square root of five. I've just given the example of square root of two.